Today we're going to be working on lead code question number 29, divide two integers. Uh, so we're going to be dividing two integers without multiplication, division, and mod operator. And the other thing is that, so we have to truncate the answer. So if it is 8.345, would be truncated to 8. And if it is minus 2.7335, would be truncated to minus 2. And we have to return the question. Uh, after dividing divide in by divisor and there are other restrictions in JavaScript we're gonna be dealing them a little bit differently okay so if the input is divided in, it's 10 and divisor is 3 the output is gonna be equal to 3 mm, and uh, yeah, if the divide into 7 divider is minus 3 the answer needs to be minus 2 so basically first of all we want to check that uh, whether the answer is gonna be equal to a negative or not so these are the base cases if the dividend is equal to 0 we have to return 0 if the dividend is uh, equal to negative actually Yeah, this is like if it is equal to this, uh, uh, the divider is equal to this number, like the negative infinity. Yet, and the then the divisor is equal to the <coughs> minus one. Then we know that it's gonna be. Uh, the positive infinity which is equal to 2147483647 yeah it is different from negative infinity so yeah we need to <coughs> look for that base case too other than that we want to make we want to know if it is if the answer is going to be negative it is going to be negative if the divide in is greater than zero equals to divisor is greater than zero so basically one of them needs to be uh, false uh, if that is right like the divide in is zero and the divide is zero Device, both of them are true then that means it's false otherwise it's true then we're gonna take we're gonna convert both divide and, and the divisor uh, to their absolute values and then similarly the divisor uh, app uh, divisor is equal to the absolute math dot absolute value of the divisor we're gonna start with the count equals to one and the result is initially equals to zero and the base is equal to the absolute divisor in the beginning now what we're gonna be doing is like we're gonna say that uh, if the absolute divider is greater than or equal to absolute divisor we're gonna say that the count wh while it stays wh while the divider is uh, is greater or equal to the divisor we're gonna start with the count equals to one base equals to absolute divisor and then we're gonna say that the while the the base is less than equal to absolute actually yeah absolute divisor divide in uh, and then we're gonna divide it by two so every single time we're gonna be divided by uh, we're gonna divide it by two and check if it is still less than equal to 2 
so once we divide abs divide and by 2 by right shifting at one time we're gonna <coughs> multiply base by 2 by left shifting uh, once and then count is gonna become equal to it's gonna also become we're gonna be multiplied by 2 by left shifting and once we are done with that condition we're gonna make the result uh, uh, increment the result by the count and then we have to decrease the absolute dividend by subtracting base from it and in the end we're just gonna be saying that if it is negative uh, we're gonna be returning the the result is gonna be equal to the negative of the result and yeah and then we're gonna return the result yep and let's see if it passes all the tests and it did